Yeah, hello, Martin from Baker's Timber Buildings. Wanted to show you one of our latest installations of this multi-purpose garden room and a poolside uh, use element of it as well. Um, down near Bolney, real local to us. is a repeat customer of ours. Um, really pleased with the outcome of this building. Uh, let me take you around and show you what we've got. Um, in the standard 7016, which is the anthracite color, um, with our 10 year uh, pack on it, with the tri-sliding doors there. Bit more unique, but work perfectly in this solution. The tri sliders are these three here and two slide over one. Let me show you with two of them open and the pros and cons of having these. So if I just slide this open, that's one and then two. I'll just move them back into their final position. If I then calm back again, you can see you get a nice opening there um, over on that 4.2 full aperture. Um, you just get about, about two thirds of an opening. So the benefit of this is that you don't have the gather of the bifold door. Uh, if I pan around, this is the house. You'd be coming out of the house. This is the path up to the pool and the bifold doors would have jutted out quite a lot. So the bifolds weren't the right solution for this. So these aluminium tri sliders are a great alternative. You can also slide these completely the other way and I'll show you that in a moment, um, along with the aluminium doors and windows and this side door so you can access it directly from the house in the winter straight in is our MTX cladding, our Medite Tricoya Extreme cladding uh, with the trim pack as well. No timber outside, so you've got a full 10 year guarantee. You can say a standard personal door coming in there. And let me take you inside. Uh, one of the largest bars that we've ever fitted, which I absolutely love, really nice big use of the space here. And if I pan around there, you can see uh, down there, you've got a nice little area for storage down there. We've done everything we can uh, to give you some shelving and things like that. Nice big sofa area there, a big lounge. So this is gonna be used for the children, for the lounge, garden entertainment. If I pan around here, you'll just see, I'll take out there the swimming pool here. And what we've done here is put a Jack and Jill toilet in. So therefore you've got a door here that leads into your little toilet and basin. Um, cold water feed only, just kept this very basic, but this has all got a wet room floor in there. And on the whole thing, if I pan around here, this whole thing has got a brand new wet room floor that we're using. Lovely product, it looks absolutely stunning. And then you've got the door leading out to the area to the swimming pool. So the children and the adults can jump in uh, from the pool with, with wet feet, come in and go to the toilet without running into the house, um, which is just a really nice, uh, really nice option to have. Uh, TV on the wall, set that up with your Sonos, um, uh, the Sonos uh, speakers there. And uh, I think we've also brought in for them the internet um, and also Sky TV. So fully geared up as a, a welcoming garden room. Now what I'm gonna do is just take you around the side because there's a few other features we've done here. I'm gonna move these whole doors over. So I'm sliding now all three of the doors. You see if I pan back, they're actually just moving so, move so smooth. Move those all the way along, okay. And I come back out this way, you then, with the tri sliders, you get this great option to slide both ways. So now this garden room opens up lovely onto the swimming pool area. So that tri slider uh, having a, mul a multi access use to slide in both ways, what a brilliant option to have and just gives a lovely finish. Coming around and back here, I'm going to just pan back and wander around the swimming pool and then show you what we've done with the rest. The pool here was already in place, but it's by our friends at Waterstream. This is a compass pool, um, just being winterized today. We're middle of October. And um, yes, uh, just a you know, lovely combination of using companies that we, that, that, that we, know, um, we, know, we know are fantastic. Um, an old school, one of our buildings here. And this is, they've had three or four of our buildings, just a standard shed. We've also put a little storage shed down there many years ago, you can see there. Um, so uh, this much more modern 10 year pack building uh, really does stand out compared to the rest. So because we already had an existing concrete base which sat along here, we've tried to utilize that base. The base was quite high. So what we've done is we've brought the building main building two meters off of the boundary that means we had a three meter planning rule and that has enabled us um, to get the height within within utilizing the base the spare little space at the back we've put a little lower lean-to shed uh, let me just open that up so you can see in there so that's a little lean-to shed in the back area there which is uh, really nice that's for half of the length of the building and if i wander all the way around what we've also done with the other side just wander around there is we put a log store in here as well so a little lean-to log store so this this section of it all here is a log store you can just see that panned back enough enough room here for a barrow to fit in as you can see there you've got the guttering on the epdm roof all part of that 10-year pack um, and just a really lovely building so uh, hopefully that gives you some inspiration of what's possible um, you can see there the 
uh, lovely, uh, the lovely um, MTX cladding, that face is so nice. It really does uh, set off lovely in the sunshine today. We've actually also, so you can see, there's a big floodlight here. Um, that was done as an extra, just so that the clients can see everything in the garden throughout the winter. Yeah, so there you go. It's a lovely uh, six metre wide, 4.2 metre uh, garden room with that poolside use, with that Jack and Jill door for the toilet, so you can use it inside and out, so you have a wet room floor. Lovely big bar, which I think is a real must in one of our buildings. We have a big lounge area, and this could obviously, there's still a lot more space to be used. Uh, maybe some games will come in here, I'd imagine something like that for the kids. Uh, if this kind of garden room or any other garden building is of interest, give me a call. I'm Martin Baker on 01444 247 192. Thank you.